here's the formula to coming up with really good startup ideas. Figure out what's the area that you have unique insight in, first of all. Like, what have you just been doing, you know, the last few years? For you, I mean, it's a few different things, but like even just like podcasting, right? Like you've been in this world and thinking about it and like experiencing everything in the current state of it. So you actually have like really unique insight about, about the state of the world there. For me, the, all the stuff I talked about with WorkOS is all this like SaaS, enterprise SaaS stuff from my previous company. I would be a terrible founder going and starting some like biomedical technology company, right? I just don't have any insight there. You know, it doesn't matter how, how brainiac I, I would be as an engineer or something. It doesn't matter. I don't have the unique insight. So find an area where you've spent a lot of time. And this is probably related to what your job is today, you know, or kind of how you grew up or something. And then around that, figure out something that is the way that you think it should be. But like, for some reason, no one else can figure that has done this. Like it should obviously be kind of like this. Why hasn't anyone just, and it'll feel like it's, it's so obvious to you that it'll, it'll feel like there, someone must have done it this way. And you'll be looking mm -hmm. around and you'll be like, I just haven't found it yet. You know, someone must have solved this problem this way. And likely what's happened is actually no one has had that insight and been in that kind of state of mind to actually solve it in that way. And you are the right one to do it. I think the, the product market fit kind of game, it's actually a lot about like founder market fit. What experience and insight do you have and like that you can draw from? And that's where you find really, really good ideas. Those mm. are the ideas where to everybody else, they look like a bad idea or they just can't tell. They're just kind of numb to it. But if you've been in that area, you're like, oh yeah, this thing would be awesome if, if I had this or it worked this way or, you know, this kind of thing existed. And the really frustrating thing is if you take that idea and you try to go to explain to other people, they won't get it. <laughs> they won't get it because they don't have the insight around it. And so mm -hmm. you, like all bad ideas do look, all good ideas do look like bad ideas initially, but you can't blame them. They just haven't spent all that time in podcasting or whatever, you know? You're right. But I, I think that's, that's the essence of it. Find the area that you've been in. What's really hard to do, I've never figured out how to do this, is to come up really, with really good ideas in domains you don't have any experience in. Because you'll only be at yeah. the surface level scratching it and you just won't be able to come up with anything that novel. I think that's a hard, really hard place to be. For sure. You have to be steeped in something. Some domain knowledge. Some